Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? My name is Mel. Welcome to Holmes Law. Glad to have you guys here. Today, a long-awaited video. Okay, we will be talking about and explaining how to use, how to properly use hickey benders. If you don't know what it is or you've never seen one or used one before, today is the day that you will learn how to correctly use it. Okay, so... For the for, for the video, let me show you exactly what it is that a hickey bender is, okay? Now, I do, unfortunately, you know, I regret to tell you that I'm not going to actually bend a piece of, you know, pipe today, even though you see this in front of it. It's just for example. I'm not going to bend a piece of pipe today. One, it's made for rigid, okay? I have used it on EMT before, but very small bends. I will get to that later. I will explain, okay? The thing is, is that the amazing gentleman that sent me this called Smitty, by the way, big shout out to you, Smitty. Thank you so much for the donation. And this video is for you, actually. The, uh, I don't have a piece of a uh, one inch IMC or rigid to actually have for the handle. You know, the job site that I'm at, we don't have it at the moment. So that will have to be another video where I actually show you exactly how to bend with one of these hickey benders, okay? So <clears throat> what I am gonna show you though is, you know, how it is that you'll lay it out and what it's used for, okay? I'm gonna try to explain it um, as short and I'll be as quick as possible, all right? In the video, I will post it up here somewhere, uh, the video that you can actually watch, which are, I have a few segment bending videos that you can use to use the form, that you can watch to use the actual formula, okay? Because it's the same formula that you will use to use a hickey, all right, to actually, you know, lay out uh, segment bend. It's the same segment bending calculation that you're going to need to know in order to bend with a hickey. Reason being is that these bad boys here were meant just to do small segment bends, okay? So you would use this, basically the maximum bend that you can do the, uh, bend with this without actually kinking it is about 10 degrees max, Okay, that's the max that you can get on this. Now, you can bend less if you want to, you know, which sometimes you will if you wanted to get a larger radius on your 90s. And I'm going to explain all of that in, in a minute. But what I want you to know, you know, mainly is that because I'm not going to go into it in this video is the formula. <clears throat> okay, so the formula is the same formula that you would use for a segment 90. Okay, you would, you would figure out what size radius you want. Okay, and then after that radius, then you would use the actual calculation, okay? You would use the whole formula that you need to find out the developed length and, and so on, okay? So I will post it, like I said, up in the corner here, the videos that you need to watch. I have quite a few that will show you the formula, okay? But this video here is to basically to show you and, and, and um, explain to you what this was used for mainly, you know, it still is used, but not as much as it used to be, all right? This is only used to bend rigid, okay? There isn't any hickey benders that you're supposed to use to bend EMT. It's only used to bend rigid, okay? Um, people probably do bend EMT with it, but, it, you know, you can kink it very easily, so you need to be careful. I've done it before, but I've been very careful. You got to do very small bends, okay? Now, mostly rigid, like I said. Now... When you're using this bad boy, okay, <clears throat> you basically just line it up with any part that you want. You know, say some people line it up here, their marks, some people line it up to here. And you go ahead and step on this and bend, okay? Not too many people will actually bend this in the air, okay? Because you actually need that handle and that foot pressure to make your bends, okay? So you would actually... Put this into your bender if your mark was there with your handle and bend, okay? And you'll know when you top out, okay? So it's basically just that simple. And then you make small, uh, uh, multiple segment bends to make your 90 degree bend, okay? So like I said, we would have, you know, I would have made small, nine, uh, 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 small bends, which would have been nine bends to make my segment uh, 90. Okay, that's what I would have done. But first, before I do that, I would have had to lay out my bends. And 
<clears throat> if you notice in the code, there's a section that tells you, you know, um, which I'm going to actually post. Um, it'll tell you all the, the, the smallest radiuses and whatnot with what type of benders that you can do. That's because of the hickey bender, okay? Because you can actually get a smaller radius than the regular hand benders give you, okay? Not that much smaller, but you can get smaller because you're actually uh, making your, your bends a lot tighter and, and a lot smaller. You can get a tighter 90, okay? So that's why the code has that there to let you know, listen, you cannot make a radius smaller than this. Here is, this is the actual table from the NEC. Okay, table two, like I said, here is the radiuses on this side, okay, all the way on the right. Now, what you're looking at is all the way on the right. This is if you're using the hickey bender, okay. So, on the left here, you'll see the one-shot, you know, benders and the full shoe benders and whatnot. And then just you're looking at on the all the way to the left is, you know, all the trade size conduits, okay? So basically, just like I said, this is just a little table I wanted to show you, you know, like um, the minimum radius that you could use, I mean, that you could bend with the hickey is over here all the way on the right with the inches, you know? So you have half inch, you can only bend it as short as four inches, three quarter is five inch radius, uh, one inch is six inch radius and so on okay just you know something that I wanted to show you just so that you could you know realize how small of a radius you could actually by code bend and whatnot all right just something that I wanted you to know okay and so that's what that's for all right so basically this hickey bender was used for that you would make multiple segment bends in order to make a complete 90 okay so let's just say you wanted a a radius of let's just say whatever five inches and you did your cal your calculation radius times 1.57 that gave you the developed length and then from the developed length you divided it because you wanted to do um 10 degree bends okay so you divided it and you got let's just say you know for, for uh you know the sake of the video i'm just guessing here we're saying an inch apart, okay? So you're making all your marks an inch apart, okay? And you're making all your marks. There you go, there you go, there you go. And like I said, this is not being accurate here. I'm just showing you an example here, okay? Because I'm not going into the formula because I've, I have so many videos going into this exact formula. It's the same formula as a segment bend, okay? The same way you're gonna lay it out, all right? And then after you have all of your, your marks laid out, simply just put it on your mark, okay? You could use the front of the shoe or you could use this saddle part right here. And different uh, hickey benders, or, I mean, other brands are basically all gonna look the same, all right? And usually you just use the front of the shoe, all right? Or whatever is easier for you to see or the top of the saddle. But um, I, I think usually, you know, you could use the, the, the front of the shoe. Some use the top of the saddle, all right? And after that, all you're doing is foot pressure and bend, okay? Next, foot pressure and bend, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on, okay? Which, after a while, will give you a 90 degree bend, okay? All right, guys, this is the layout portion. Uh, I grabbed this from my other video, the actual chart. I changed around a couple of things here. You're going to see more marks than, you know, what you really need using the hickey. But maybe and maybe not. Sometimes you can, you know, do large sweeps. Anyways, let me get it started. So, for the layout portion, after you figured out the calculation, okay, and you have your developed length, that's what you want to get is the developed length of the 90 that you want to bend okay so after you have that you're gonna lay it out the first step is to mark out your whole developed length okay so you're gonna put to start out with two marks the first mark okay wherever you're gonna start your 90 from and then the whole length of the developed length which would be your second mark okay 
So you, right now you have two marks, the, the whole length of your developed length, okay? Then, depending on how many bends you're going to make, how many shots you're going to make, <clears throat> okay, depending on what you decided, all right? It's either going to be, you know, nine shots or, or less if you're going to bend less degree bends, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to start marking those shots after your first mark, okay? Start laying them out. And like I said, in my segment bending video, you have the whole thing, the whole tutorial and explains everything thoroughly. <clears throat> so you can go through that as well. All right, so after you lay out all your marks, okay, and you're ready to bend, okay, then you're going to start bending from your second mark, okay? Your first bend is actually going to be bent from your second mark because your first mark is just a temporary mark for you to use to mark out your whole developed length. It's very important. So your second mark is you're going to be your first bend, all right? So it's pretty straightforward. It's nothing really, you know, really hard about this. If you have any questions, you can hit me in the comments. Let me know. I will gladly explain it to you. But like I said, I have lots of segment bending videos that will explain the whole process a lot better than I am right now. Okay, I just didn't want to get into it and delve into it so deep because I already have in two other videos. Okay, but that's how, you, in a nutshell, how you use a hickey bender. You basically have to lay it out. Just like you're doing any other segment bend, okay? Because that's how it's meant to, to use. Now, <clears throat> others and more experienced electricians don't even bother doing this calculation unless they're going to do concentric bends or, you know, they really want to do it and whatnot. So most of them just go ahead and wing it and make 90s just by making these short you know, um, bends and lots of wing it, you know what I mean? Um, also offsets, lots of electricians just do it by eye, you know, they'll, they'll keep bending till they get one 30 degree bend, flip it around and keep bending till they get another 30 degree bend and, and call it a day. All right. So that's how it was done when I first started in the trade. And, um, there's only a couple of electricians that actually I've seen do the calculation and actually lay out for a, a, a bend with a hickey bender, all right? But the proper way to do it, and if you want to get exact, precise bends, this is the way to do it. Now, to do an offset with it, I would have to show you how to do the actual calculation for that. It's not hard. I actually have the video for that as well. Like I said, all this is, is this bender, the only thing you have to do is just everything has to be bent as this as if it was a segment bend okay and i have a video for segment offsets so if you want to learn how to actually use the hickey to do offsets i have that video you can use it as well and watch it and use it to your advantage all right all right so back to the video now with that said that's just 90 degree bends okay there are other formulas as well like if you watch my video showing you how to do a segment night i mean a segment offset okay which is it's in my playlist for segment bends okay a segment offset basically you do the same thing okay you're just gonna actually put your two separate marks for the spacings in between and then they're gonna have other marks for small segment bends now actually when it's an offset you're probably going to do 45 or 30 degree bends so it won't be that many that many marks you'll probably have maybe anywhere between three to five marks for each bend which is you're only going to have two right so for each side you only have three to five marks so you'll set off by doing this side you know maybe three or four marks you know three or four small bends and then you'll do the next one, which will be three to four bends, and that'll give you an offset. And that's how you do an offset with an actual hickey bender. Like I said, I do apologize. I'm not going into the formulas because I already have those videos. So if you want to know how to do a segment offset, you can look up the video, and I have it there on my playlist, which is for segment bends. Okay, but it's the same formula. Basically, just wanted to actually explain that to you. All right, so you can do segment offsets 
with this hickey, all right? And you can also do not and 90 degree bends, obviously. Another application that we use this hickey for is when you're actually have rigid conduit in concrete slab, okay? And you have your stubs up, maybe some of them are crooked, some of them got misaligned, or maybe they weren't misaligned, maybe they're straight and level, but plans changed and your panels were moved slightly to the right, to the left, back, forward, and you need to do an offset now. Okay, well, this is what we used. It, it's easily, you're easily able to do an offset or reposition your rigid conduit with a hickey while it's in the ground. Okay, it's easily done. Now, not as easy as PVC, I mean, but, you know, it is what it is. Rigid, if you have it in a concrete slab and you need to redo a bend or straighten it out, a hickey is what we used, okay? So, like I said, Smitty, I appreciate the donation, you know what I mean, and the support. When I do get a piece for, that I can make a handle of, I'll actually come and I'll do the part two to this video to show you how to actually make some segment bends, okay? But I'm telling you, it's the same as doing it with a regular hand bender okay you're doing multiple bends and actually you know what I think it's easier if you say if, if you ask me because you know that when you top out you have 10 degrees now what you want to do with every other brand of hickey bender right is you want to make a uh, you know practice bend and top out with it, right? And what I mean by topping out with it is you'll feel when you have your foot on it and you're, you're putting that pressure on, you'll feel when you can't go no more. You'll feel that, you know? Especially if you're an experienced bender, you'll know when you've topped out and you can't go no more. Anyway, you do that with a new hickey bender and then you measure the degrees that it is because every other brand can be different. It can be 9, 10, some maybe can be 6 degrees, 5 degrees. So you want to know where your hickey bender tops out at so that you know because it makes a difference when you're actually laying out your marks, okay? So if you're laying them out for 10 degree bends or whatnot. Now, if you want bigger radiuses, it doesn't mean that you have to do 10 degree bends with these hickey benders. It's just knowing that that's where it tops out at, okay? So you could always make less degrees. You just know that you can't make anything larger than 10 degree bends, okay? Or whatever it is that your brand of hickey, you know, gives you, all right? Now, with that said, okay, I must say it again, all right? I, at least I don't know of one. I don't know of any hickey bender, okay, that is used on EMT. As far as I know, they only are used on rigid, okay? If anybody knows of a hickey bender that they can use on EMT, please comment below and let me know. I've never seen one though, okay? Also, all right, I want to thank again Smitty, that's on Discord in my community, I want to thank you very much for donating this and, and supporting us, guys. If you want to support us and help me continue making these educational videos on conduit bending and anything electrically related, okay, I have, you can DM me and I will tell you how you can actually support us through, you know, either finance or getting us equipment that is needed to make quality videos through Amazon wishlist and whatnot. Okay, there are several things that we can use to make this a better quality video. Um, you guys have already helped out a lot. I plan on helping a whole lot more. If you guys have any video requests that you want me to do, personal video requests just for yourself, you can get in contact with me. Just comment below and I'll give you my DM. Also, I do one-on-one, -on -one, you know, phone calls or internet chats where we can actually get together and I'll, and I'll tutor you on anything that you need as far as conduit bending or anything electrically related that I can actually help you with. Mostly conduit bending. If you need any help with the actual formulas or if you need any tips and tricks or you have some trouble with something that you're not understanding, just reach out to me and, you know, we'll take care of that.
all right? Especially for you apprentices or mainly anybody that's willing to learn that wants to learn more and, and wants to take their career further and their knowledge further. I'm here to help, guys, all right? So with that, again, I'm going to let you guys go with this Hickey Bender video. We will make another one when I get the handle to actually show you how to actually bend with it. And you'll see me live on video bending with the Hickey Bender. Smitty, again, I want to give you a shout out. Thanks again. Also, if you guys are interested in, you know, taking your career any further, okay, and want to jump from a journeyman or mechanic to a foreman, please watch my friend Estimate Guard. Dot com, okay, you can go to his website, but he also has a YouTube channel called Estimate Guard, okay, go watch him, he has some valuable information, especially those that want to take their careers further, go watch him, he's an awesome guy, his name is Dennis, tell him that Mel Holmes Law sent you, and uh, with that guys, I'm out, thanks.